Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to some more Hearts of Iron 4, the Dread League, episode 13 with our series here. Uh, I honestly thought we'd be dead by now, but we're not. So, so uh, here we are. Surprise. I can't kill this guy, so we're just going to get these guys on the border defending. That's what they need to be doing. We'll just focus on that. Oh, great. So that guy managed to take that fort. Now we're fighting him on a fort. Uh, I guess if we could take it, that's fine. And I'm going to try to push these guys if I can. Uh, whatever it takes at this point to get this army to spread out and control this. And hopefully we'll have some more divisions to give them, which will help a lot. They're down to two divisions. We've almost destroyed that army completely. Uh, whatever <laughs> is happening there and whatever's happening here. So this is the biggest threat right now. If this grows out of control for us, then we've... Uh, you know, we've probably lost the game, so we'll just pull, watch it and see how it goes. I can't believe we're losing. This is pretty much mind-blowing for me, but whatever. How is that even possible? Please push this with them. It doesn't even make any sense. I mean, it is. Thank God we're at least winning this one over here, so I have a little bit of faith. I can't believe two divisions are holding off eight over here. We're down to 1.57 million pony power so if I don't start pushing more of these provinces and trying to get more area well we're gonna run out and that's never good saving this up because I want to get the technology gap the giant awakes uh, wakes would be nice too because we get 10 military factories for that we can use it to make more support equipment and more, uh, I mean, we're fine on infantry equipment, actually. Or, I mean, we're running out, but we're still... Actually, yeah, we won't be making any more units after this if we don't get that infantry equipment up. We really do need more military factories. We're not even making support equipment, I just realized. Anymore. Probably because we lost this over here. No. Oh. There we go, though. Trap this guy, would you? Guys are doing a terrible job getting online. But I can at least encircle this guy. Ha! We did it. We won this over here. That's four divisions from the River Federation completely destroyed. I can't believe it. This army's not going to put. This army's actually not going to push through. One division holding back seven, and they're not going to push through. That is unbelievable. Well, that, that, that air superiority does it for us for sure. Um, I've only got one air base. It's all the way over here, so I'm not going to be helping anytime soon. With that, I was making another naval dockyard. That's dumb. I don't need that. Should never have made that. I should make another air base is what I should do. That might be dumb too. We've almost got this though. Eight more days and we'll have burst the shell. We should see that have some effect for us. This guy should take some attrition now. But let's move up and make sure we can at least hold. If we get one division on that fort, they won't take it, but we gotta get there first. This guy's actually not on a fort, so we should have left him there. Because this guy's moving up to it. They're getting more and more divisions here, and I'm getting more and more nervous about it, but this will help. That may help us contain that, but now we're out of infantry equipment. And we're using converting the living, so we can't create weapons or anything like that.
Oh, what is going on here? You guys cannot break this, can you? Do this, please. Order of the Knights. Knights of the Order of... Uh, Knights of the Order of the Knights. <laughs> okay, perfect. Back online with you. Back online with you. Alright, that's done. This is almost done. So we've done a great job at actually repelling all the naval invasions except for this one. This one's the one that's getting the most out of control. Uh, this is where I was suggesting whether or not this army could pull back and deal with it. Have to be the orange army here. Uh, I'm gonna take that chance, I think. I'm gonna take that chance. This is the biggest risk I've taken so far, I feel. But, we'll see. If these guys start pushing, so far they haven't really done anything on this front line. So if they start pushing, then then obviously we know we've got a problem to worry about. And we'll have to turn them around. But for now, this is our biggest problem. And these guys are really struggling to contain it. And they've almost got these guys destroyed. Then they can go back up here and join this front line. Which would be great. And we held mage hold and that's all that matters. They freaking can't. These guys can't. They can't break through that to save their lives. 67, three more days. Five seventy two to two thirty seven. God we're making them pay him <laughs> we're making them pay in pony power though for every step they take. They're definitely paying for it. Uh, they have not had an easy walk in the park. Definitely making them fight for it. Mm, this guy pushed up to that. I wonder if I can close this up and free these units. That'd be nice. Where's that? Uh, do I drop the Navy or do I just let them land? I'll probably just let them land. They're attacking here. We can stop that, actually. We can stop it before it even lands. We'll save the Navy for another event. Put those guys there and probably stop it. Glad it wasn't anything else. It could have been worse. Oh, okay. Research finished on Birch the, Burst the Shell. Holy crap. That's a research? Okay. Oh, we needed that. All right, force recruitment because we're, we're already hurting on pony. I mean, we're not hurting, but we're, we're getting low on pony power. So the force recruitment is going to help with that. Um, I may even switch this over to all adults serve. Um, I'm going to hold off though and just wait. We're done making units pretty much. Uh, we will get rid of these two. That'll help a little bit. No, I really thought... I, how silly of me to think that these guys could push that. But they can't. I, I could put the whole freaking army on there and they can't push it. Oh, well, they're finally starting. We finally got a positive there. I had to put the whole army on it. We finally get a positive. These guys need to spread out and contain this, actually. Better yet. Now that these guys are off of it. And they must have moved. 
It must have been these guys that they moved down here, which is dumb on their part. So go ahead and do this, please. Lock them there before they spread and give me a bunch of headache. So we should be able to destroy these guys pretty easy. So that's nice. That must have been the units from here. They moved them down for whatever reason. <laughs> that whole army on there and I can't take it. Oh. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Give me a front line right here. I want the whole army on that front line. Let's go. Including you guys. You're not exempt. Okay, this is looking better. In fact, I'm almost thinking now the or orange army doesn't isn't needed, but they move so quick up there that uh, I'll just keep them at this point because they can... I want to get this contained. I'm pretty sure this is locking up some of my factories. And this all over again over here, but could be much worse. Ah. Uh, boy, they are trying to push a little bit, aren't they? But we're holding it for now. You guys can stop attacking because you're not going to do anything. Actually, they're going to pull a division off, so that's even better if they do that. By all means, please. Ha! They brought a bunch of units back. And so it's a good thing I didn't turn around that army. Burst of Shell should be helping a little bit. It might not be a lot, but... I think, is that an actual... Convert the Living, Society of Technology, Commissar Gulav. I mean, we've got a ton of stuff here and it's still not helping us, right? Crazy. Oh, they're attacking us here. I knew it. As soon as I moved these guys off, they got the courage to do it. It's not going to be enough. Alright, I have to turn them around. These guys are going to have to hold this by themselves. Or I'm going to lose these lines and then I'm going to really be in trouble. Give me something, Gorilla Fighter. I'll take that. I haven't been using too much command power. I was kind of saving it up for some of these traits, but at this point, I want to make sure this guy can hold that line. And then I don't know what these guys are doing, but you need to take this back now. Or I'm going to lose all these divisions. Freaking unbelievable that they didn't have that protected. Are you guys on there? Please tell me you can win this. These guys are getting some attrition building up. They might slow down a little bit. Still going to send orange army down there. I'm just not going to mess with it at this point. 
Really, you can't break it. 19 divisions, and they cannot break this line. I mean, what's it take, you know? Oh, what does it seriously take? Had a lot of attrition across the board. And we've eaten through, even though we've eaten through a lot of our manpower, the enemy is sure eating through a lot of theirs as well. But nobody is near capitulation, obviously, except for northern tribes, and they're only 32%, and not even close still. That's why this needed to be a thing. But you know, his two divisions here are just way too powerful for me. Yeah, they move one more division up and it flipped the whole odds. One in reserves and they got one division just hold the whole freaking line. Just crazy. But that's the Dread League. I'm severely outmatched in terms of technology and it's gonna play it. It's definitely gonna play a role. So if that's the case, I don't know how I'm going to win this. Oh, there it is. That's what I was worried about. The attack that would take Mage Hold that just freaking locked up all this. Uh, it's saying less than a day. We'll see if that's actually the case. We might push him out. This, these guys got so much attrition at this point, they're useless. Well, they're not completely useless, but they're, they're definitely got to be hurting. No, oh, there it goes. Oh, boy. Oh, that could get out of control if it's not monitored. This, this has gotten way out of control, just unbelievably more than it should have. I'm going to move up on these forts because I know if I take the forts... I can hold from there pretty easily. I'm actually going to try to cut these units off here. throw everything at these guys. I can't take them. I know I'm not taking this guy and they're not... Wow, they actually are going to take that. How the heck did that guy get there? Okay, well, we could probably connect him and maybe encircle these guys. Close this border up a little bit so it doesn't look as bad as it... It doesn't look... as bad, I guess. Or at least try to lock some of these units up. I'm concerned because he's got five there. Oh, that's what I was worried about. He's dropped a lot more units here. I figured the Red River Federation would eventually do this. More divisions, but for what? Put them on here. Oh, this army lost all those units over there. That sucks. Yep, they freaking lost that whole army. Nope, top, don't even attack. Let them attack you. Play defensive. 
Oh, this is it. This is where it's starting to fold. These guys are bubbling up. They're bubbling up and out very quickly. Redraw all these lines. They've taken Tarpian Rock. Yeah, this is where it's going to fold right in half. And, and a lot of it's going to be because I didn't control the naval invasions. And they just eventually start to out-tech me. Um, you'd think these two armies could do it, but they're just... The, the Griffonian Republic's definitely my biggest threat. There's no doubt in my mind on that. And this this has just gotten way out of control. I, I can't even control it if I want to. I got that fort there, at least. Please don't let that guy get cut off, for the love of God. I thought maybe I could push this funny. I thought that I could actually push this, but these two divisions will not let this go. We're currently losing. I'm just so much division with, you know. I'll put these four on it. If it doesn't look like it's going to flip, I'm going to switch them around and bring them over here. Because this is looking bad, too. These guys should die quick, and then I could turn around, but... I'm going to take... I'm going to take... Four of these divisions and turn them around because this these guys should not be able to hold up and I have to take this quicker and then yeah I'm gonna have to turn this army around they're just not gonna make that push if I don't get this under control if I don't get this under control it's it's gonna go bad doesn't matter how hard I'm pushing in the northern tribes at this point can't believe that these guys can't push this. Okay. Give me that whole army. We're redoing you guys right now. So you can't, if you can't do it, then you can't do it. But what you can do, maybe, is you can turn this around. Maybe. Probably not. It's probably... Probably too far gone. It's definitely probably too far gone. They're getting all my forts, too. Yeah. Ah, oh, Jesus. I can at least encircle this guy. Every time I play the Dread League, it's always the naval evasions that eventually catch up to you because you can't fight them. And it, and you need, you're fighting every single nation, so you need all your armies on the front lines. What'd they just break here? They just broke this somehow. You need all your armies on the front lines. So it's just, it's too tough to, to try and focus on keeping all your armies on the front lines and then also sending armies backwards. It just turns into a, a mess. We should be able to hold along the river, I would think, but maybe not. I'm seeing a lot of red, so that's not good. The only green I've seen is that over there. It's all red everywhere else. Gold's moving as quick as they can. They've just hit the point where they've pretty much out teched me. Uh, even if I got, which I'm not going to get any of this, it wouldn't make a difference at this point. Um, the forced recruitments and then the apo the apocalypse is literally my only saving grace. And at this point, I think that the game's so far gone, uh, it's not going to make a difference. But I'm going to go ahead and close the episode off here since we're out of time. Uh, chances are next one will be the last one or maybe we might get two more in. Uh, but not looking too good for the Dread League here, which, oh, well, they're tough to play. They're definitely one, probably one of the more tougher nations to play in the uh, Equestria at War mod. 
but I'm still happy because as of now, this is definitely the farthest I've made it. Uh, the naval invasions usually are what always get me, but uh, I don't think I've ever made it to 1017. I think I usually run out of steam about 1015 or 1016, so this is good. And at the rate we're going, we look like we, were, uh, we may even see one more year. I want to thank you all for joining me. I do hope that you've enjoyed it, and I look forward to seeing you next time.